the Illinois legislator, legislature voted on Friday to legalize recreational marijuana. The state also made its medicinal marijuana program permanent. That's right. Businesses, government agencies, and law enforcement all have until January 1st now to prepare for this new industry to hit the market. WCI 3's Cole Hankey has details. Law enforcement spent months opposing recreational marijuana, but now it will be legal in six months and police will have to adapt. Um, I am concerned, it mostly has to do with public safety. You know, that's been my number one talking point every time I spoke or testified uh, about this. So I'm still concerned that we don't have a uh, admissible field test to protect all the citizens on our roadways in Illinois. Governor Pritzker highlighted how the plan offers forgiveness to people caught up or convicted in the war on drugs. The law will expunge all criminal records for crimes of possession under 30 grams. And it provides a path to expungement for crimes of possession up to 500 grams. While Sheriff Jack Campbell says he believes in second chances, he said the expungement process could be a logistical nightmare for police across the state. We have to go back and, and, and physically review files and see what people were convicted um, in Sangamon County uh, for these cannabis cases. And we're going to pay overtime because we have our day-to-day -day duties mm -hmm. that we have our, our people take care of too. Law enforcement is not the only group adjusting to the changing marijuana landscape. Medicinal dispensaries are now able to sell to more people after the state voted to expand their program and include new conditions and diseases. It's these changes that make medicinal dispensaries confident that the recreational side will not negatively affect their business. You're going to get a level of expertise at a medical cannabis dispensary that you may not otherwise get somewhere else. We're talking about putting together hybrid strains and specific things that work for s specific ailments. In Springfield, Cole Hankey, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Medical marijuana users will also be allowed to grow up to five plants in their homes.